It's 11 questions where I give a scenario or storyline, and you have to tell me if it was on Parks and Rec or The Office. This is recorded live at Ogopogo Brewing in San Gabriel, California, and this is Trivia with Buds. it be and welcome to another episode of the trivia with buds podcast i'm your host ryan buds and it is freezing in my house and by freezing i mean 45 degrees or so it's probably more like 65 but uh i am very uh i don't know whatever i've lost all control of being able to be warm since i've lived here Uh, i've lost all sense of living in chicago for uh, my whole life until about six years ago when I moved to California. Thanks for checking out this show. This is the Daily Pop Culture Trivia Podcast uh, that hopefully you love. Hopefully you subscribe to for new episodes every single day. I do have some fun news. Over the next four days, we'll be doing Parks and Rec in the Office trivia on the show, which was recorded live at an event I did at a new brewery in San Gabriel, California called Ogo Pogo Brewing. Ogo Pogo is like the Loch Ness Monster of the uh, Canadian area, I guess. And uh, that's what they named their brewery after. So uh, this was a fun event and I recorded all the rounds and I thought it would be fun to kind of do like a Parks and Rec office week. So uh, here's your schedule for the rest of this week through Friday. Today we have Parks slash Office. So I'll give you a scenario and you have to tell me which show uh, that happened on. And then we have tomorrow the Women of Scranton. That is quotes from ladies uh, on The Office. And you have to tell me which lady said it. And then we have around all about Ron Swanson on uh, Thursday. And then we have around all about Michael Scott, world's best boss, on Friday. So if you like those two shows, stick with this show the rest of the week and uh, tell a friend about it. Maybe you have a friend who loves these shows, loves trivia about these shows. Send them some links. Say, hey, how many of these questions can you get right? And do a little battle from near or far. That would be super cool of you. Uh, I have a bunch of fun stuff going on in November, including another event at Ogopogo Brewing. You can click the banner at the top of TriviaWithBuds.com if you want to buy tickets to that. It is all Disney trivia, so it's all Disney-related and uh, sticking to the live action and uh, classic animation, so like Disney-specific, Pixar, stuff like that. But we won't be doing um, Marvel or Star Wars at this event, just Disney. So get your Disney uh, annual pass holder friends in California together and come play some trivia and win some amazing prizes from myself and Ogopogo Brewing. I've had a very uh, busy week, a lot of parties, a lot of fun stuff going on. Did a big event for the Santa Monica Public Library, 150 librarians partying their butts off on an in-service day. So that was fun. That was on uh, Monday. And then I followed that up. It was kind of like a triple header. I had that on Monday, and then I had to do uh, a bingo night at Hangar 24, way out in Redlands, California. And then I did some more bingo from 10.30 to 12.30 at a place called Highbrow in Upland, California. You can see all these trivia and bingo locations, again, on my website, TriviaWithBuds.com, if you ever want to come play live. And if you're new to the show, go back and check out all the other 300 episodes that we have of trivia for you. There's hours and hours and hours. I think I added it up. It's like three days worth of trivia if you listen to it all the way through. So go check it out over the last couple of years. And if you want to support the show, think about going to patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Shout out to my newest Patreon subscriber, Mo. What's up, Mo? Who is uh, married to Brenda. Shout out to Mo and Brenda. Thank you guys so much for your patronage and your friendship and your nice emails that you've been sending. Uh, if you want to support the show, that is the best way to do it. And uh, you can throw a buck on there and get access to our brand new uh, Discord chat we got going on. Kind of update people on there um, on what I've been doing every day and little projects I have going on. And then I share some extra trivia there. And that is accessible for a dollar or more. So if you want a little bit of interaction, it's kind of like an AOL chat room that I moderate um, in the modern times. So go check that out. I'll send you the link once you are a dollar Patreon subscriber. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We're going to jump into these questions recorded live at Ogo Pogo Brewing. They're all about Parks and Rec and The Office. Here we go. All right, who's ready for some trivia questions? This is the very first round of trivia. This one is called Parks and Rec or The Office. You're just going to write down which show you think We're talking about Parks and Rec or The Office. Make some noise if you've been to Ogo Pogo Brewing before. And now make some noise if you've never been here before. 
Nice. Welcome all the newbies, and uh, welcome back to all the people who have been here before. One of my favorite new breweries, especially right here south of Pasadena in San Gabriel, California. I'm excited to bring you this first round of trivia. Uh, this is called Parks and Rec or The Office. Here we go. You don't want to yell stuff out. You don't want to use cell phones. Let's keep those cell phones away until the rounds are over. And uh, here we go. First question, number one, round number one. You're just writing down the answers to these questions. Team name at the top of the sheet. Here's number one, guys. Parks and Rec or The Office, 50-50. A bat flies around, and a character wears a paintball mask and uses a trash bag to try and capture it. What show was that? Number one, number one, parks or office? A bat flies around, and a character wears a paintball mask and uses a trash bag to try and capture it. Number one, number one. Now, you could just write parks or office. You don't have to write the full titles. Parks or office would be fine. Here comes question number two. The cast of the show keeps slipping on an ice rink together because a red carpet isn't long enough. What show was that? Number two, the cast of the show keeps slipping on an ice rink together because a red carpet isn't long enough. Number two, number two. Thanks for having some great craft beer. There's some great ones up there. I'm drinking an Oktoberfest. They got a nut brown style, a hazy IPA, a Belgian white, and they all have awesome names. The Ogo Pogo, I'm told, is the uh, Loch Ness Monster of Canada. Is that right, Ellie? Yes. That's right. Ogo Pogo. It'll get you. Allie, have you ever seen it? Yeah. yeah. Who do you think brews the beer, right? Giant monster. You're the only one. Here's number three, parks or office. Someone says the line, ovaries before broveries. Someone says the line, ovaries before broveries. Number three, what show was that? Parks or office, ovaries before broveries. Number three. Here's number four, someone falls into a river to retrieve a burrito. Someone falls into a river to retrieve a burrito. What show was that? Number four. Number four. This is a good icebreaker one. Good icebreaker uh, round. Can you guys around the corner hear me okay over there? It's all good? You guys too? Okay. Number four. Someone falls into a river to retrieve a burrito. Number four. You guys are going to retrieve some amazing prizes if you're in the top three teams tonight. We have these amazing fake vinyl record sleeves by my friend Drew A. Blank. You go to drewblank.com and see all the amazing stuff he draws and has for sale. Everything on this table is drawn by him, uh, so you can check it all out. We have some great office and parks fake vinyl records. We have a laser disc sleeve for Threat Level Midnight 2. We have a parks and illustration adult coloring book. We have Johnny Karate, Karate Chop Something, enamel pins. There's so many great things. Here's number five. <laughs> The group indulges in the annual Free Pretzel Day event. Number five, the group indulges in the annual Free Pretzel Day event. Number five, number five. To get excited for today, I watched a few Random Parks episodes last night, and there was uh, the, the line where they get checked for mumps, and that doctor's like, that man has the biggest penis I've ever seen. He goes, I don't even know if he has mumps. I was so distracted by the biggest penis I've ever seen. I forgot about that. It was so great. Speaking of that guy, his name's Jim O'Hare. He plays Jerry, Gary, Barry, Larry on the show. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, he got me to be an extra on the show when I first moved to L.A. in about 2013. So I got to be on the episode where Ben and Leslie get married, which was really cool. It was a two-part episode. I'm in a tuxedo, and it was like a full week of work. So I, thank you, Jim O'Hare. And uh, it was a really cool experience. And uh, if you watch the show, there's a scene where I think Leslie's on stage and the entire cast is like in the crowd watching her, I think, announce that they're going to do their wedding that night. And uh, I'm standing next to the entire cast. And uh, so I have a screenshot of that. I printed it off. I gave it to Jim and everybody on the show signed it. So I have a really cool picture of me on the show signed by everybody. Thanks to Jim O'Hare. So shout out to him. One of the best guys ever. Jim O'Hare. Here's number six. Someone reads a book called Throwing a Garden Party by James Trickington. Number six. Someone reads a book called Throwing a Garden Party by James Trickington. Number six. What show is that? Number six. Here comes number seven. A band plays a song called Sex Hair. A band plays a song called Sex Hair. What do you think? Number seven. A band plays a song called Sex Hair. Parks or office, number seven. 
At number eight, everyone throws up after eating another character's hard-boiled eggs. Everyone throws up after eating another character's hard-boiled eggs. Number eight, parks or office. Talk it over amongst your team. The whole point of tonight is to get you nostalgic for a show, both shows that went off just like five years ago. But to get you talking about them, go, oh, remember that? Oh, wait, remember that? Oh, yeah. And then laugh and talk about it. Number eight, everyone throws up after eating another character's hard-boiled eggs. Number eight. Here comes number nine. Three of the main characters wear mustached disguises. Number nine, three of the main characters wear mustached disguises. Number nine. What show is that? Number nine. Number nine, three of the main characters wear mustache disguises. Number ten, Bill Murray makes a season seven cameo. Bill Murray makes a season seven cameo. Number ten, what do you think? Number ten, Bill Murray makes a season seven cameo. Parks and Rec or The Office, what show was it? Number ten. And your bonus question. This is on your bonus line. This is number 11. It's worth two points if you get it. This is your two-point question. One of the original plans to make Parks a spin-off of The Office included a broken machine. What type of machine was it? So originally, they were going to have this be a spin-off, and uh, Scranton and Pawnee would be in the same world, and uh, a broken machine would kind of tie them together. What type of machine was it? Two points if you get that. That's the end of round number one, Parks or Office. Thank you guys so much for playing. We got five more rounds coming your way. When you're done, when you feel confident in your answers, come bring up your answer sheet, and we'll be right back. Thanks for playing trivia with Buds. Here come your answers, guys, for round number one, parks or office. Let's see how you did. Number one, a bat flies around, and a character wears a paintball mask and uses a trash bag to try and capture it. That was on The Office. That was Dwight. Dwight on The Office. Number two, the cast of the show keeps slipping on an ice rink together because a red carpet isn't long enough. Parks and Rec. Number three, someone says the line, ovaries before broberies. It's Leslie Nope on Parks and Rec. Number four, someone falls into a river to retrieve a burrito. That's Jerry, Larry, Gary, Barry on Parks and Rec. Number five, the group indulges in the annual free pretzel day. That was on The Office. You don't want to see Stanley when he doesn't get that pretzel. Number six, Someone reads a book called Throwing a Garden Party by James Trickington. That was The Office. Jim Halpert tricks uh, Dwight with a book. One of his many tricks. Number seven, a band plays a song called Sex Hair. That is a mouse rat song. Parks and Rec, Sex Hair. Very sexy song. Number eight, everyone throws up after eating another character's hard-boiled eggs. That was The Office. Whose were they, Dwight's? What kind of eggs were they? Weren't they, like, weird? Oh, gross. All right. Number nine. Three of the main characters wear mustache disguises. That was The Office. The Office, I think it's Jim Dwight or maybe Jim Ryan and Michael go to a something. I don't know. They're dressed like cleaning people, I think. Number 10, Bill Murray makes a season seven cameo, Parks and Rec. Unadvertised, I believe. It was a real quick cameo, Parks and Rec. Does he play the mayor? Mayor Gunderson. And the bonus for two points. One of the original plans to make Parks and Rec a spinoff of The Office included a broken machine. It was a copy machine. A copier. Copy machine was supposed to get broken, refurbished, and then shipped to the Parks Department in Pawnee. And that's how that show was going to start, from what I read. Kind of interesting. There it was. How'd you do? Did you get all 11 of those questions correct? I remember the crowd being really into uh, this first round. I played the intro music from both shows before we went into the questions at the live night, and uh, it was a rowdy, fun crowd. Great place to have a beer if you're ever in the San Gabriel area, and uh, if you're looking for more trivia around the area, always go to TriviaWithBuds.com, click on locations, and see where I'm at. Also, if you play Trivia With Me Live, I'd love to hear your take on it. Leave me a Yelp Review. I have 104 Yelp reviews that are very detailed and awesome about private parties and live events and fundraisers and things that I've done. So if you've uh, worked with me in the past, think about doing one of those. That would help me get some more business and I'd be forever grateful for your time and words on a Yelp review. 
Thank you guys so much for listening. If you want to support the show, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Throw a buck or more to get some great, great rewards mailed to you every single month and access to fun stuff like our new Discord daily chat. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow for more Parks and Rec and Office Trivia, specifically the women of Scranton Quotes on Trivia with Buds. Cheers.